Julie Chrisley will continue to serve out her 84-month prison sentence for fraud. The resentencing ruling came after the reality star tearfully spoke in court and apologized for her actions and to her kids, two of whom, Chase and Savannah Chrisley, were in the room with her. I would like to say I've had years to think about what I wanted to say and I'm sorry for my actions and situations that led us to where we are today," the 51-year-old stated. I've had 20 months in prison, but it has been much more leading up to the trial and I apologize for my actions that led to where we are today. I have done everything I can do to get closer to my family. I've taken tests for new skills, such as driving a forklift and serving food in proper ways. This has been the most difficult part of my life, the Chrisley Knows Best star explained. I can't ever repay my children for what they've had to go through and for that, I am so sorry. As OK reported, Julie and her husband, Todd, 55, received separate prison sentences, which began in January 2023 in their tax evasion and fraud case. Though Julie began appealing her seven-year sentence right away, she still had to go behind bars in the meantime, but she was granted an appeal in June due to insufficient evidence. Todd was denied an appeal and will serve his full 12-year sentence. After careful consideration, and with the benefit of oral argument, we affirm the district court on all issues except for the loss amount attributed to Julie, court documents read. The district court did not identify the evidence it relied on to hold Julie accountable for losses incurred before 2007, and we cannot independently find it in the record. So we vacate Julie's sentence and remand solely for the district court to make the factual findings and calculations necessary to determine loss, restitution and forfeiture as to Julie and to resentence her accordingly, they added at the time. After the matriarch sentence was upheld, Savannah, 27, wrote via Facebook, I am devastated to share the outcome of my mom's resentencing. Savannah has been advocating for both of her parents, claiming they were wrongly targeted and sentenced. On a July episode of her Unlocked podcast, she detailed her experience visiting her parents in their respective prisons. I used to say I think it would get easier as time goes on, but I really think that's a lie, Savannah shared. I think I was lying to myself to make myself feel better because it does get harder. It gets harder each time you leave, and you know you're leaving them behind, the young adult added. The podcast host became the legal guardian of her brother Grayson, now 18, and her 11-year-old niece, Chloe, whom her parents adopted from Todd's troubled son Kyle, when the couple first reported to jail last year.